So the Pesigo sector has been quite massively funded in the recent years. Uh, there's been hundreds of uh, millions of dollars has been invested in the Pesigo sector, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa, to try to solve the energy access problem. Deep diving data helped me as a VC to, uh, to understand without any emotion a business. I need this emotion to, to invest in time to understand the data, but at the end, if without data, I wouldn't invest in a company. Because data, it's key to understand how, how much the team uh, manages its execution, um, how the team is able to unlock uh, the uncertainty and, uh, and uh, the potential of the company. Uh, and for me as a VC, it, it gives me a lot of insights to uh, see how much we can uh, improve the business. When companies develop pay-as-you-go models, they need to collect a lot of points of data initially to run proper credit check. And this kind of data can be as diverse as uh, the number of acres, uh, for instance, of maize, cassava, or whatever crop that uh, the client who is a farmer would be farming. Uh, it can be the structure of the home, what kind of rooftop, uh, what kind of walls. And this way you can really build a very strong profile of your clients and leverage this data to better understand the profile of the one who are churning or not uh, at a later stage. If I'm looking as a company in Sub-Saharan Africa from an equity perspective, I will want to hear, okay, this company has a lot of growth potential if only because the company is going to harness the potential of data to create new sources of growth to have a better understanding of its customer and prospects and leverage this better understanding of its customer into new growth stories. So when um, I'm deep diving on the, on the traction, for instance, I like to see the potential of growth. So uh, I'm looking at the conversion rate, uh, the capacity to add more revenue, uh, improving the RPU. But the other thing I, I'm looking uh, very carefully is loyalty. And loyalty gives the value of the product. You need to have a strong analytic tool to, uh, to make all those assessments. If you are focusing on the small things, on the very granular aspects of data, sometimes you will be able to come up with better insights about the customer's ability to repay compared to aggregated categories such as income. So what's important when you collect data uh, is that obviously some data won't make sense in some context and won't in other. So it's very important that, for instance, a lead form that you will be using to qualify a potential client, that this lead form can change and evolve according to the kind of asset that you are to offer in the micro credit approach or according to a geographical context. So those are like those elements of adaptability of the data gathering that are really important to put in place. Data science is very difficult to apprehend in this context because data science is about dealing with massive amounts of data with very sophisticated algorithms. Only now they are realizing that data could be used and leveraged to, to implement customer care strategies and to increase cost efficiency in recollection processes, for instance. So there is a variety of companies, a variety of stages, and a variety of maturity when it comes to data structuration within the PIGO sector. Using a well-structured and well-implemented platform such as PayGops to collect and analyze data is essential not only to save time but to make the whole data analysis process possible. We invite companies who are uh, developing pay-as-you-go model to really consider data and machine learning at the heart of their, of their strategy, uh, to be in the best position to scale and maximize both uh, the, the profitability and the impact of their model.